everybody. Welcome to Mimi's Mix Bag. I always have to apologize behind me when I record in my craft room because it's always a working disaster. Now that the wedding is over, I will get in here and get it organized again. But I want to thank you all so much for all the love and well wishes for my son and my new daughter-in-law. Uh, the wedding turned out just beautiful for us to have got put this together in six weeks. Um, it just couldn't have been any nicer had we had three or four months to plan. It. Um, I thought this weekend I might uh, post a little slideshow just showing you some of the highlights of last Sunday. Thought you might like to see that. So what I'm going to share with you today is a really cute spoon Christmas tree for your kitchen at Christmas time that I just didn't get a chance to share last year and I made a point to do it this year. So I'm going to go downstairs and show you the supplies you need. Now Dollar Tree does have wooden spoons but they didn't have the shape I wanted and they had these classic wooden spoon shape and they had the four different sizes and that's exactly what I needed so I picked up two packages of those for your tree trunk I just, my husband just had a piece of scrap wood one by one and then you're gonna need some paint if you have wooden spoons you could just get away with the uh, cheap craft paint with my spoons being plastic I wasn't sure how well it would accept the paint so I just picked up a small little can of this green spray paint now the container for your tree is you know lots of options a flower pot a tin can you can always cover it up i'm going to just use a glass mason jar and what i did is i took the trunk of my tree and stuck it in there and decided i wanted it about two inches above the top and drilled a hole and then every six inches drilled a hole all the way through because i'm going to have four branches to my tree now in order to secure your tree into your container is a variety of ways too i think if you just packed uh, your container with newspaper really tight that would probably do the trick because this is super light my stick is only 26 inches long keep that in mind you know you only have to do three branches it can just be whatever however many spoons you have i've got just a little bit of this plaster of paris left over this is super easy to work with it's two to one like two cups of powder to one cup of water and i'm going to mix the plaster of paris in the jar and i just taped all four sides of the top just so that my tree trunk would dry standing straight all right it's the next morning here and i'm ready to get started on my tree again got my tree trunk i secured into my jar that plaster paris totally did the trick i'm ready to insert my spoons now what my husband did is you know he drilled four rows and these spoons come in four sizes and it just so happened the holes he drilled were are very snug to fit the spoons in the hole goes all the way through going from smallest to largest towards the bottom so once i get my spoons in i'll show you what it looks like it's going to give a tree-like shape i'm going to spray paint it and once it dries i'll bring it inside All right, here is my easy two ingredient cinnamon ornaments. You're gonna need five ounces of cinnamon. Honestly, I didn't have a full five ounces of cinnamon, so I just substituted and finished out my five ounces with some ground clove. If you've got allspice, cinnamon, nutmeg, all those kind of Christmas spices will work just fine. It will give you a great scent to your ornaments. Now, you're gonna need a little bowl to stir it in and a cup of applesauce, and that's it. Stir the cinnamon and applesauce together Till it forms a cookie dough now it shouldn't be very sticky if you find it if you find that it's a little too sticky then just add some more cinnamon to your mixture now once you get it formed into a ball you're going to roll it out between two pieces of parchment paper just roll it out about a fourth of an inch thick I knew some people would actually want to see what the dough looked like before I rolled it out. It's really better just to get in there with your hands once you get it primarily combined and you will be able to get it totally incorporated, but it's not sticky at all. You can always wash your hands, but it certainly smells good. So I'm going to roll it out and I'll be back. Now I want to show you that after I rolled it out a fourth of an inch thick, I went around and I kind of call this repairing the dough, just like you do pie shells and things. Tighten up the edges just so that that they're kind of packed tight and you will see some cracks in the dough and you're just going to kind of smush them tight and make sure that dough is compressed tight it's pretty fragile very carefully and transfer it to my cookie sheet all right i've got all my shapes cut out now and they're ready to go in the oven just a couple tips the first one is keep your cookie cutter shapes very simple and the next thing is 
you know, once you get them cut out, you may want to take your fingers and kind of smooth out the edges just to make your star a little more crisper looking instead of jaggedy. And then once they get baked, you can kind of take a knife and clean them up a little bit too. Just depends on how distorted they look. Now, the last thing you need to do is take a straw and poke it into your ornament and kind of twist a little bit to create your little hanger hole for your ribbon. I'm going to bake these low and slow 200 degrees for two hours and they should be pretty hard by then. All right, friends, here is the spoon Christmas tree and just got a few notes for you that I did mention before. I've only got about an inch of the the spoon hot glued into the trunk of the tree and you could certainly cut down the handles and make it a lot more narrow but you know some of us may have big kitchen windows and you were just looking for the perfect thing to fill it up and this would certainly work it can get up to about two foot wide if you needed it to now on the top i just hot glued a wooden bead at the top you could put a star whatever you got would finish it off. Now I just made the cinnamon ornaments just as an idea that you could do with kids or you could use dough ornaments um, if you had some kind of gingerbread ornament collection but Walmart has some really cute candy and kitchen themed ornaments. Now as far as the bottom I just took a cloth Christmas napkin stuffed a couple plastic bags in there and cinched it up around the mason jar. You know when you buy a tree at the nursery it's usually wrapped in burlap and cinched up like that and I just thought that that was a cute way to finish it out. There's lots of things you could do with containers. So I hope you like this idea. I found this years ago in an old Southern Living magazine and finally got the opportunity to share it with you. I hope you'll take this idea and make it your own and create your own spoon Christmas tree. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back next week. Bye-bye.